Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to download apps right here on your Mac. Now, I want to start off by saying that you could download them from the official website. So you can go to the website of the app that you're looking for and download it from there. However, if the app's available in the App Store, you can do it also from the App Store. So you do have those two options for a bunch of apps. So at this point in time, we're going to show you how to do that from the App Store. On the top left hand corner of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Click on your Apple logo. Third option, we'll say the App Store, so we're going to go right in there. Once that pops up, it's going to take you to the updates. We're going to run through that later. But on the top left-hand side corner of your screen, you're going to see Search. And just type in whichever app you're looking for. Or we can always go into Discover, Arcade, which are games, Create, or Works. So that way, we can see all the apps that are available. So for example, I'm going to click on them. I'm going to start up with Categories, so we can see all the categories available. We can go to Develop. We can go to Play, which is almost like Arcade, but... It's different. Uh, then we can go to work. This sh will show you everything that has to do with work. Uh, this will give you more artistic things. And right here, Arcade, well, this is different because this is a paid subscription that you get to play all these games just for one subscription. And under Discover, you're going to see a bunch of everything, basically. Anyways, at the moment, we do know what we want, so we're going to go into Search. And in this case, I'm just going to type in Affinity. Once I go into Affinity, I will notice what's free and what's paid for. For example, I want to highlight that this app right here is in fact free. However, it does have in-app purchases. So sometimes downloading the app's free, but everything else would be paid. Now that would be different than something like Affinity where you see a price and that's it. You just have to pay for it. You're going to download it. And the good thing is that if you ever delete your app from your Mac, you can just go into your app store again and re-download it. So that's a good thing about downloading things from your app store versus if you buy an app from a website, then you're going to always need that installation file. So if you lose that file, you might lose everything unless you created an account. And even then it's kind of tough depending on the website and the app itself. Anyways, right now we're going to start off with Affinity Designer just to show you how this is done. So right here, I can see that's $52.99. I can click on that $52.99 and I'm going to show you that just as the first step. So let's just do that. And then we're going to see buy app. So we're going to click on buy app. Now, once you do that, you will see this. Let me just zoom in a little bit. It's going to require you to sign into your app ID. So go ahead, sign in, and then you're going to be able to buy it. Once you sign in, it's going to prompt you with another warning. Are you sure you want to buy this? So at this point in time, we could cancel it or just buy it. In this case, we're just going to click on buy. And as soon as you click on buy, that's all you had to do because my credit card's right in there. So everything's set up. I can see that I bought it and it's downloading because on the top right hand corner, I can see that it's slowly downloading. The download time for each app depends how big each app is and your internet speed. So I'm going to show you a second way right now. So for example, I also want to buy, for example, this right here, Affinity Photo. Instead of clicking here, I'm going to go right into the app. So let me just click right there. Then it's going to open up this page. And in this case, on the top left hand side, that's where I'm going to see the price. And I can just tap right there. Again, I'm going to tap on buy apps. Let me just zoom in just a tad more. Here we go. And we're going to go on to buy app. In this case, since I already signed in, it's just going to prompt me with this message here where I want to buy this. So it's going to give me that warning, click on buy and we're done. So usually only with your first app, it's going to ask you to sign in from there. You can just keep shopping. I'm just going to go back. And at this point in time, I can actually see that they're both downloading. This one's going quite faster, obviously, because we started this one first. Then we downloaded this guy, which is going a little bit slower, but that's all right. And as long as this is moving, we're good to go. Once it has downloaded, I'm going to see something like this. So if you need a publisher, this is something I already bought. And that's why I see open. That's because I already bought it. I can just open it up and use that app right away. As mentioned, when they're finally downloaded, I'm just going to see open. So in this case, let's just open them up. So I'm going to go ahead and open Affinity Designer. I'm going to open Affinity Photo and Publisher. Well, I already did that from before. So let's just leave that alone for now. Now, as they open up, I should see them popping down here below. So right here is Affinity Photo. It's just popping and also Affinity Designer. So they're just loading up at the moment. So here they are. There's no need to register any apps. They, they're yours already. However, if you register with them throughout the website, yes, you're going to get stuff for free. I'm not really interested in that yet. So I'm just going to put reminding me later and I can just get started with a new document. However, I'm just going to close this. I'm going to close Affinity Designer for now. Go into Affinity Photo and here we go. Same deal. 
we get some stuff for free, we might need later. And I can just get started with a new document, close this up or create one myself. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.